Hi, I'm Sue from Quilters Paradise. I'm here with my two granddaughters here. They were going to help me for a little bit in showing you how to do slit and sew doing diamonds. The cut right slit and sew diamonds, it turns out we have four sets of these and we have the 45 degree 4 inch finished, we have the 45 degree 8 inch finished, okay so as you can see this angle here is different than this angle over here. This is the 60 degree 9 inch finished and the 60 degree 4 and a half inch finished. The reason why we chose these sizes is, is that you can mix and match them, okay? Well, we can mix and match the 45s and we can mix and match the 60s. One thing I'd like you to see is this is a sample of the 45 and instead of using a single color for the diamond, we happen to use two of these to get two colored diamond, okay? You can also, it's not shown here, you can also do four different colored diamonds by using this. And this is for using a half if you go to the end. I'm going to show you that on this side over here. So what I do here is this will be a corner. Okay, this will be an edge. This will be a full, and this will be at the bottom. So we give you all of the pieces necessary to make an entire quilt. So now I'm going to show you how we're going to be laying out the diamonds. I happen to be using the uh, 60 degree. This happens to be a large sample using the large templates, but I'm going to show you sewing wise with the small. But before I get to the sewing, I want you to see that this is piece D, this is piece C, this is piece A, which is the complete um, diamond, and this is piece B. So this is how you would be putting them together. When you go farther down the rows, you will see that there's more A's and you'll keep growing your A's. This is using piece A and I'm going to cut four piece A's together and I'm going to show you how to stitch them together. I've cut them out, each of them has the slit and when we sew we want to put the slits together. I'll now be taking it over to the sewing machine and show you how to line up. Right now I have both pieces, A's, face up. I'm going to take this one, put it on top of this one, and I'm going to be looking for the slit. The small ones just have one slit to line up, okay? The slits are important. Once I have that, I'm going to bring this over to my machine. Again, I have the uh, a small, I do about a 1.8 stitch length. I make sure, I've made sure that my, I'm sewing a quarter inch seam. For this, I put this tape here to aid me in pushing my pieces against that. I'm going to put this down and put my foot down and I am going to sew ensuring that those slits match up. Now I'm going to sew the next set. So now I'm going to press and we're going to press to the dark side. So set the seam, press, and I'm going to do the same with this one. I have no place to go with this. Okay, now to line this up for sewing, and this is why we deal with the slits. We don't want to be worried. We want this to join and nestle, be perfect, but 
we're going to line up to the slits and forget about this because if we concentrate too hard on this, I don't know about you, but I always screw it up. So I don't even want to think about it. So here I have a slit and I have a slit. I'm going to line to that slit. Again down here, I'm going to line to this slit and I'm going to sew, bring it over to the machine and sew. And I'm not going to be worried about this. Okay, so I'm now going to sew these two together and I have that slit lined up and this. And if it kept going, I would just be focused on each slit. I do not even think about what's happening here. So I'm going to put this down. Again, I like having the ability to push this against this tape. Sorry, I'm a barefoot sewer, so I had to get my shoe off. And there. I'm at that slit, so I want to make sure this other slit is still lined up. It is. And... And I sew right off and cut it off. So this is sewing the two together. As you can see, look at how perfect this is. I'm going to flip it over so you can see. What I ended up doing was, since these are pressed this way, this is pressed open to reduce the bulk. Okay, now as I said, we gave you, um, we set this up so that both the small and the large uh, 60 degree diamonds can work together. So I'm going to show you on this one. As you can see, these are the large A's and these are the small A's. So I can put four of these to correspond with one diamond. I'm going to turn it over and this time I just didn't open any of the seams. I just pressed this way and as you can see it all works out. I'm going to flip it back again so that you can see how nicely these all nestle. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on the slit and sew diamond method. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. This is Sue again from Quilters Paradise where we make quilting simpler. Bye-bye!